Good morning, everyone. Thanks for taking the time to sit down with me for coffee and the Word. <clears throat> that time each day that we examine a small portion of God's Word, and then we seek to apply it to our lives so we can become a little more like Jesus today than we were yesterday. So grab your cup and let's get started. East from West for as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far he has removed our transgressions from us. Psalm 103, verses 11 and 12. Sometimes we just have to get away. Maybe from danger, a particular person, or even our everyday life. How far can we go? Suppose we climbed the highest mountain. The height of Mount Everest is generally given as 29,029 feet above sea level. That's a long way to go. Maybe we'd rather go halfway around the world. Going along the equator, halfway around the earth is approximately 12,450 miles. The most challenging thing to separate ourselves from is our own sin. <coughs> Excuse me. It's interesting to note that the psalmist, when moved by the Holy Spirit to write, did not say that God removed our sin as far as the north from the south, but instead as far as the east is from the west. It is so like God to be precise. Today we know that the distance around the equator is longer than the distance around the world going over north and south poles. Even more amazing is the fact that if we travel in a straight line, either north or south, we eventually cross the pole and begin heading in the opposite direction. However, if we set out on a journey either true east or true west, we never end up heading the other way. God's love continually moves our sin away from us. Only the Savior who created this planet could so completely use the world to display His infinite love. Thank you, Lord, for doing what we cannot, for taking away our sin. We are so grateful. We rest in your deep love. Be blessed and have a grace-filled day.